A and S are two letters that appear a lot in the graffiti world as it's used a lot generally in the English vocabulary. So learning this is a massive skill set you can then put into your tool belt. With any letter we're doing with graffiti, we first need to know the basic form of that letter. So obviously an A is here. This is the sort of stuff you would learn in year three, so it's really simple. But I'll tell you why it's important, because when you know this, we now know how to manipulate this shape here. So what do I mean by this? Okay, so let's take this into parts. We've got part one, part two, this side, and part three. Once we know these three, we know that has to be the foundation. So let me show you a layer right now. We take part A, and let's just do something like bend it, okay? So keeping the pencil super loose and bend it like that. Let's say we take two and act it as a supporting shape onto this. So we end up with something like this. And shape three, we can just pit across. So almost like calligraphy now, you can see that still resembles the letter A. So all we're gonna do from here is look to, look to broaden these up, make them bigger and thicker. So if we just start off with this shape here being shape one, I can just show you how I mean. So here, I'm just thickening this up. But looking to give it more weight, so at the bottom I want it to be thicker and smaller at the top. Doing different line thicknesses adds a new dynamic twist to the entire layer. You don't always have to add the different thicknesses. But later on, as we see filler lines versus thick lines, you can see how you can use it a lot in your letters to create really interesting and free-flowing shapes. Let's end this off here for now. We'll keep it to the simple as I can. And let's keep shape free super thin i kind of like it and i like the way it comes through here as for shape two we have here once again it's the simplest form let's just thicken it up like so i actually went off the paper there but i kind of like that i'd use it i'm gonna use it for this letter here Super, super duper basic. And obviously, as we're going to go and progress in this lesson today, it will get more complex, and then I'm going to show you how to build up. But learning this foundation for letter A, you can apply to all letters, and this will be the general structure guide on how to uh, create really cool and unique graffiti letters. Now, here I've got a line. I'm actually just going to use this here, just a little step off shape. So we're introducing new shapes now. So we still got the one, two, three basic shape, but we introduced introducing new shapes to add it more to make it more unique sometimes you can go over the top by adding arrows uh points stars crazy things just pulling off your layers like it's almost like a robot a robot or something but seeming as the first layer i'm gonna keep this layer like so um and show you how now we can develop this to create something with more style and more attitude if you will something i really like to do so here we have the basic layer a the basic one of this tutorial i like to ask myself this question and it goes like this yes i understand but then what what this will enable my mind to do is to look at the basic shape and now think of other ways to add so okay yes i understand but now what so let me just show you again we're going to start off with very similar as the first one so we've got shape one shape two we have let's look at it a bit looser and we had this add on here and it coming across so now we're just going to do the same we're going to thicken up keep it loose like so but then we think okay this is coming down but then what here i might say okay i want a shape coming up from that so i'm going to put another one shape in here just like so now i'm looking this again okay it's connected here but then what I want it to come out from this and then connect into this shape, okay? So I made it a bit smaller. Save the weight, like so. And when I'm saying save the weight, what I mean is sometimes I pull that line, it's too far. Now it's coming down this way so much, it's pulling the whole letter across. It could work, this would be effective if I had a letter in front of it, like you have like a T bent around here, and then this will be more shape here that will connect. Yes. That's later when we start thinking about multiple letters. But when I'm looking at this one singular, I want it to all be balanced and have its own weight in all the correct places. And I'm just gonna keep this the same. So already, we have this basic here, but now we've got a little bit of flavor coming through here. And there's things like chopping a layer. So here, we call a chop. So I'm cutting, ding. And all I'm gonna do 
is give that a break here and then a shape here. So now I have sort of like an extension coming off the bottom there. And this will apply again. So let's do a shape one, make it simple. Shape one is done. And this can also apply for other shapes. This is why all letters have value because this could be the stem of a T. So you could have a T coming across. Um, it could be the start of an E. You could have an E coming here, the bottom half of an E. All letters balance each other off. So get to know the alphabet, even if not your letters are beneficial as well. So it's just something that helps. So we have this coming here. What if, okay, what if we added something here, a block? Just a block. On top, like so. And then we started letter two. Sorry, shape number two. Like this. Now let's see where you, where would you want to put Wait, Obviously you're following along with the tutorial, which is great. But also think for yourself, because these will be your letters. You don't just want to go and leave here and be like, oh, I've got a new letter set. If you can change and manipulate a little bit um, and find out what you think the way should go, that's where you come up with your own unique style. So here, I'm going to copy this sort of similar shape, fill up that gap to a point. But now I need some sort of weight here. If you can see, just feel it, like get instinctively, instinctively where you want to balance things out. Here needs a bit more a bit more weight. This can be achieved in multiple ways. So if we put number three shape in, which is this line, you can have something where it comes out and then it comes back in, like so. Or you can have a shape here at the bottom, an extra shape. I don't know, just like this if you really want to. With a notch here, like so. Now I'm feeling like here is a little bit empty at the top. So I might just have this come down to a bigger shape. And you end up with something so unique already. Like so. And this comes from A, B, C. Now this to me has got local style, it's got real nice flair, it's got a bit of funk, and it's original and unique. And all we've done is added this. So if we keep it back, shape one, shape number two, and this is shape three. The whole of this is shape three, let's say. Um, then we've got maybe shape four now, shape five, shape six just six shapes combined to give it flair have a letter that looks something like this and let's just play that game again so i understand okay ask yourself i understand but then what and let's see what we can come up with so this is like an evolution form of the first three basic structures we know it by now okay so shape one comes up just on repeat now shape one will come up like so and shape two comes off. And we've got these extra shapes now that we can analyze and see what we enjoyed, what worked well, and what we feel like didn't work so well. Because as you find with letters, because this was here, this influenced this shape here and up here because it was always balancing out. We're always looking to balance out. So if we start with the basic again, it was stuff like this, and we can be rough with this. Let's see if we start adding different things. So this time, I kind of like this, but what happens if we just throw a shape coming up like so? And this can now cut off, let's say, act as a blocker. So when this shape comes down, this shape here we have is blocking it. So we can erase this bottom half now because it's come to an end. You can also leave that coming through if you wanted to, but for this, we'll just block it off. So we've got some sort of variation going on. And here, we can just cut this coming down. And you end up with, let's say, this kind of shape. With a little hinge here. And with this, I always do the pointed end. So when I'm outlining it, I'll show you just quickly, show you the shape. It comes to a point, comes and flicks to a point and gets thicker outwards. It's just a nice touch when you're outlining things in case you're wondering. Now here we had the shape coming this way so we're going to teach shape three and we're going to flip on itself and have it coming this way now as well as that we'll have it interacting with this and then almost bounce away like so i'm going to have it like this coming up i like this how this works so we probably have a similar shape maybe more of a slant to it coming in we're just analyzing what other things we can in. So here we've got a lot of weight coming off this side. So here we'll probably end this tucking in early 
shorten this up so it's not as long as the others. Now, if you bring it down like so and connect it round here. This is using the same, roughly around the same number of shapes. We can add a few things like these small rectangle, long rectangles coming off here. These are really good for getting some motion in and also filling up gaps where you think something should be there, but you're a little bit unsure what will go there. So like here, you can fill this up with this. Maybe I'll have another one come off the back of here, a little bit extra. And the whole time it's just giving it more flavor. And here you could have a dead, dead off here, so you can't give it flat. We can also do these small ridge things, so it's like a, the same rectangle coming off the shape. And this is a good point as well for you to add more of this, these rectangles shooting off. So these little extra things that spice up the letter. And already the same number of shapes, just a bit more evolved from each letter. So basic, a bit more complex and a bit more stylized, I'd say, with a bit more action in it, a bit more movement, a bit more aggression. So now we understand how you can use basic shape of just one, two and three. Really simple, adding on and creating new and unique letters, A, B to C, evolving very slightly, but to create a completely different set of letters. I'm now gonna show you how to do a more developed letter by changing the basic shapes completely. And if you enjoyed seeing the development in this video today and wanna to get access to the next 25 letters in the alphabet, head over to the Patreon where there's loads of exclusive letters as well as the rest of the alphabet for you to make sure you have the best style on the street. So here I've drawn a little example. I hope you guys can see our lineup for the next video. But we're going to change the basic shapes completely here. So what I mean by that is where it comes down like this way and down, now we're going to change the first shape. So let's end up with something like, it's coming this way, let's end up going the opposite way, okay? Let's actually throw the opposite way completely like so. I drew this letter so I can show you. This letter was coming this way shape one is this block here and we're going to use it similarly here and let's say shape two we're going to have it coming down so this is shape two now like so and for shape three let's have something coming up it looks like nothing right now it looks you want to treat it like the same as anatomy of the human body we have things called movement lines and the same exist in letters almost treat like a body and it's bent over so shape one we start off with the basic picking up really simplistic like so not worrying about the details not thinking about all the extensions just yet or how to make it into a crazy wild style I'm just putting it in like so and this one I know it's gonna be thin and I know there's gonna be something here later on but for now I'm just gonna pick up shape two and then assess where we're at okay so shape two just like so very unique very bizarre shape with a lot of movement coming this way so for this now we're gonna look for places we can start adding stuff or maybe even taking away things so here this space here feels very empty to me so here I'm gonna add just a block on top like so maybe with a point so if you can imagine it coming up like that. Now it's given that a lot of weight and already it's completely introduced a whole new look to the basic shape of the letters. And here as it comes up, I want it to create a shape within this shape. So here I want to cube it off and I want it to follow the line of shape number two, which we have here. Just to introduce the lines of the eye, gives it a new dimension as well. Now you've got a foreground and a background by pin it inside this shape. Another very good tip. I'll tell you what, I'm kind of enjoying how it just stomps off here. I feel like a lot of the complication of extra bits should come from this side of the drawing. So here, if you go absolutely wild with it, I'm going to have it coming down and connecting back up with shape number two. I feel like it's too, too exposed and we're add, introducing a new shape coming down. And see this shape? I'm mirroring that down here. So I'm, I'm mirroring the shape here so it's got more balance. Just like so. Maybe I should have that coming up. So it hooks around, comes down, and it hooks up just like that. And whilst you're looking at it, you might have seen something else that I didn't see, like a cool shape. Like, oh, you should try it this way or that way. And I highly advise you to lean towards that instinctive 
feeling because that is where you are going to find your style and that's where you will create unique shapes last thing you want to do is uh go go away start painting these layers and claiming them like yeah this is my style um just use this as a point of reference where you can now learn from go away and start honing your own skills and your own ability in the graffiti community and now we have it guys you can you can just keep going now once you've got the basic set and understanding of this you keep building letters up so <laughs> i'll just draw a small one here and if you do get intimidated or sometimes you get lost actually draw on smaller letters so on a smaller scale so say for example uh, you, you can do anything now at this point you can make any letter a once you've known this trick let's say shape one is, is bent like this then shape sorry shape two here and shape one is like here and then connect if i just draw on a smaller scale it takes a bit of that intimidation away of i'm doing a whole letter um unless you zero in quicker to find out where you roughly want the shape to go so look how quick this is okay you just seen how it all went down and i'm just using the same wall on a super small scale just to explore and experiment and not wasting time trying to create a perfect layout, perfect graffiti piece um, like so and with this speed look how long that takes that took less than 20 seconds and now okay next you can try another letter a small a um, whatever to develop your style And there we have it that will be your collection of a's if you follow along with today's tutorial if you would like to get early access to all the other layers as well as tons more of the exclusive tutorials that help develop your style make sure to go over and check uh, check out the patreon where you can also be part of the art community and help this channel expand with more learning resources if you have any questions and want to leave a comment i will get back to you as soon as possible maybe something some things you're still confused with that i can help with you later on but until next time, I hope you find your style and keep creating. Stay well. Bless.